what it does is it removes some of the specialness that comes from each family and the seriousness involved with that. They've asked about it, and I want you to know it has, it has biblical support and it has great significance. In the, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, <coughs> verses 4 through 7, it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. And these words, which I command thee this day, shall be in thine heart. And then it says, And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. And the same precedent takes place at the birth of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. When it says that, and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, and was so named as the angel before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be called holy unto the Lord. And the purpose with this is, you know, I want you to understand, it doesn't make this baby any more special to be saved other than the fact of this. This is more about the decision of this man and his wife and the leadership and the direction of this home than it is about the particular individual choices of the baby. Okay, so they're here this morning because I'm looking at you all and Mike, Melody, Morgan, the boys here, I challenge them this morning they all have, want to give their names. <laughs> Mike, Sam, Peter, and Zach. Okay. I know <laughs> they all have a responsibility in helping little Ezekiel grow up in the fear and admonition of the Lord. Okay. But not only do they have a responsibility, their church family has a responsibility to help them. So with that, Mike and Melody, I charge you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that you raise this little one in the fear of the of the Lord. That you live in such a manner that your family 